just saw the picture. Then it disappears, that's the point. What, you can't find out who sent it? No. Oh, this is so creepy. Why would someone do something like that? I, I don't know, to mess with my head, blackmail me? See, this is another reason why you need to tell her today. I know, I know. Well, Aidan, I know it's not going to be easy, but she needs to know the truth from you, not from some grubby photo on her phone. I'll do it. I promise. I... Yeah, I don't think that's the best idea, do you? I've got these for you. Oh, you made me lunch? Well, it's only cheese, but it's in an apple. You do like cheese, don't you? I love cheese, mate. Look, I'm sorry about my mum. You know what she's like. Oh, no, it's all right. It should be me apologising for causing more aggro. So, are we okay then? Yeah, of course we're okay. Well, let's get inside. Thank you. It's beautiful. Tulips. Very thoughtful. Yeah, I always think of you when I see tulips. Really? I think it's something to do with the shape of your head, like a, like a beautiful tulip. <laughs> <laughs> Any clues as to Dev's plans for your special day? Well, I thought I picked up a hint of something. I mean, has he mentioned anything to you? I'm sure he's planning something really special. Yeah, well, he's playing his cards very close to his chest. Good morning, ladies, and what a beautiful morning it is, though not quite as beautiful uh -huh. as you. <laughs> like a tulip. Well, I'd best get to work. Give you two some privacy. So what's she like? <laughs> Tell me about it. Honey, why don't you take a day off? Really? Yeah. You deserve it. Go back to bed. Because I've been thinking. Oh, I've been thinking. <laughs> Lots of great ideas. But I'll be back soon and all should be revealed. OK. Mm -hmm. I'm in your hands. Excellent. Good. I should be at school and you've got customers. I know, but we need to talk. Really? Yeah. You know, I barely see you anymore. Faye, if you knew how much I loved you and how much I want to protect you... I know you ain't said, but I don't need protecting. I'm happy. Why can't you see that? It's not... This is about how people treat you. That's how you know what they're really like. What does that mean? Some people are born bullies, evil bullies, and they'll do anything they can to get what they want. They like having power over you. It's like they actually enjoy watching you squirm and suffer. Look, I know Seth's made mistakes. He admits that. But he's not a bully. He's a good person. He'd never treat me badly. It's not just about you and Seb. Well, who's it about, then? Is it you? Did someone treat you like that? I just... I worry about you so much. You don't have to. I really love Seb and... I know you don't like him, but I think you'd hate anyone that I went out with. Well, you could try going out with somebody else. I don't want anyone else. No, of course you don't. OK, well, I'll tell you what, why don't you ask if he wants to come round for his tea sometime? Really? Mm. And where's this come from? I don't know, you know. Maybe if I spend some time with him, I might get to see a bit of what you like. I need to get to school. OK, go on then. It still feels so strange having to ring the bell in my own home. Well, I'm working on it. I saw you and Bethany get off the bus. Is everything OK? Um, yeah, we've, um, we've just come back from the clinic. Clinic? Said she should be tested for sexually transmitted infections. You never know, just to be sure. How is she? She's not good. I know she doesn't want to relive the whole thing again and again, but unless she tells the police what happened, he's still out there. And the things he made her do. Oh, Lord. Mm. Got soap? On your chin. The Sarge has got the messiest table manners on the force. Mm. Yeah, I'll stick a couple of napkins in your pocket. my last A-level exam next week, mm. so I really need to do well in that. You'll be OK. You've got the brains in this family. I saw Bethany and Sarah earlier. She's oh, not white as a ghost. I wish there's something I could do for her. I've been looking online at ways I could help. Supporting victims is part of the job. Do you know what? 
You're my son and you make me want to be a better person. There's plenty of room for improvement. Mm. Well, that's the cheek. I was trying to say something nice. I know. Mm. There is something you can do for Bethany. What's that? Be her mate. Yeah. I reckon she's going to need one. Right, I've got to go. Are you sure this is a good idea? My mum wanted to invite you round for tea. I don't know what's changed, but I think that's cold for seeing that she's all right with us going out together. Yeah, but, like, me and us being here now. Well, Kevin's at the garage and my mum's working at the cafe. Jack's at school. Still got my keys, so we've got the place to ourselves. Just thought you might want to eat your butties with me. Except I'm not really that hungry. Yeah, I'm not that hungry either. Well, I thought maybe, um, I don't know, if you want. You sure? Oh, have you got some protection, though, because I don't want to get pregnant again? Yeah. Yeah. I just feel like over these past few months, we've proved how strong we are. Are you sure it's safe? Or... <sighs> you know, like, what if? The door's locked. It's just me and you. So I tried telling her what Phelan did, but I just couldn't do it. I mean, I know what she's been through with Miley and that, but when I look at her face, I still see a child. She's a teenager. Yeah, I know. Anyway, I had another idea. Yeah? I said she can ask him around for his tea. Well, so you can poison him? No. No. I want my daughter back and... I don't know, maybe if I get to know him a bit better. You know, he might stop hanging around with Pat Field and he might find something better to do. Well, it's a plan. Yeah. And, well, I want to say sorry to you and all. I know I've been a right nightmare. And, well, I, um, I want to try and make it up to you. Really? Yeah, really. I want us to get back to the way we were before all of this. I'd like that. Starting with today. Well, starting with tonight. <laughs> mm. Mm. I feel we're close to another sighting. Really? When you've spent so many hours scanning the night sky, you, you, you develop a feeling and. I'm convinced that the famously elusive particolored bat is ready to make another appearance. Hmm, what can I say? Well, it's marvellous news. <laughs> oh, excellent. Well, I'll bring extra sandwiches and a spare flask. Whoa, whoa, hold on there, cowboy. I'll scroll back a minute. Sandwiches and flask? For us. Tonight. Bat watch. Oh, no, sorry. Well, I've had a very busy day. I think a, a quiet night in for me. Um, but you, uh, put yourself some extra provisions. It could be an all-nighter. Very well. Cathy. What can I get for you? Um, yeah, I'd like a cup of tea and a cream horn, please, Roy. How's the, uh, how's the back watching going? Yeah, well, it, it, it's funny you should ask. I've not I, told him. I told you to back out with some embarrassing. I know, but what else can I do? Yeah, well, maybe it needs a more direct approach. What does that mean? A cold bucket of water. Dave? Is that a rover? Just a minute, my love. Is this my surprise? Could be. I knew you wouldn't forget my birthday. So come on, where are we going? Your birthday? You did forget. No. No, honey, of course I didn't forget. I put it in my phone. A thing should have reminded what is wrong with this. And what's with the bags? Well, the bags is, uh... It's a golf tournament in Scotland. What about the kids? Well, the kids I was hoping... Oh, <laughs> that's why you gave me the morning off. So what's all this about? Great ideas and all will be revealed. No. No, listen. I'm thinking about the refurb. You know the refurb? So I'm thinking about setting up like a pop-up shop, you know, in the house, but just selling the essentials, you know, milk and bread, that sort of thing, just so we can hold on to our regular customer. A pop-up shop. Look, I have no idea how this uh, this terrible error like occurred, but we can turn this around, honey. 
We can turn this around. Then why did you come with me? You come with me. We could all go. To a golf tournament? And what am I supposed to do while you're playing golf all day? Well, you can play with the kids. Huh? Yeah, because I'm not sure they let women into a clubhouse like that. I have a better idea. You go. You go to Scotland. Yeah? Hmm. And take the kids. Make it a family trip. Because the best birthday present you could possibly give me is a weekend without you! So, what's the big emergency? It's not a shift in ten minutes. Well, Eileen saw him sneaking in through the back and she absolutely loved telling me. She just loved it. So I do. Faye and Seb, she's still got a key. So? So I'm making myself a brew and, well, I dropped the spoon and the tea bag into the bin and that's where I found it. Found what? Hmm. At least they're using protection. Kill him. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Hang on a minute. No, Listen! No, no. You let him go. Oh, that's going to help, is it? I thought you waited for to come home. She's 15. He should be locked up. I mean, I should be calling the police. What, what if he's forced her into it? Maybe he's learnt a few tricks from his new boss. Oh, come on. They're normal kids. You've seen them together. They're smitten. It's not normal. It's not normal to have a baby while you're still at school. You've got no idea. I've raised two daughters. Surely I'm allowed an opinion. Yeah. Well, Faye's my daughter. Yeah, I know. I just think you're, you're projecting your own feelings towards feeling and sex onto some innocent kid. So it's my fault? I never said that. Right, well, how supportive is that? You're not getting any, so you're happy that Faye is. That's well sick. No. I'm just trying really hard to... to understand where it's coming from. Yeah, well, don't. Why don't you just go back to work? Cos you being here is just making me more and more angry. Hi. Hi. How are you today? Fine. Can I ask you a question? Yes, of course. When I was in the car with Nathan and you were talking to him, what did he say? Well, he wasn't being exactly friendly. I'm just sorry I couldn't stop him driving you away. Did he threaten you? You looked frightened. Well, well, not for myself. But he made it very clear that if I didn't back off, he... he might hurt Harry. I'm such a coward. No. You were very brave. Calling the police on him. Don't ever think that any of this was your fault. You did the right thing, you know. Protecting Harry. I don't know what I'd have done these past few days if you'd not been there for me, so... Thank you. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> no, I mean it. I wish I could show you how grateful I am. Are you all right? Have you seen Seb? Face, sir. Yeah, face, Seb. Have you seen him? No. Well, if you do, tell him that I'm looking for him. Hey, I've just seen Tyrone and Luke in there. That's why I'm out here. I did. No. Just fancied being on my own. Oh, sorry. It's all right. I don't mind. I know how you feel. <laughs> Dev forgot me birthday. Oh, did he do that? <laughs> Claims it was a smartphone malfunction. Now he's gone up to Scotland with the kids. What? On your birthday? See? I remember you making a big fuss of Anna's 50th a couple of weeks back. Yeah, well, that seems ages ago now. <laughs> That's the trouble with me and Anna. We take one step forward and six steps back. Can't seem to do anything, right? 
you like wine? Mm. I drink it. <laughs> Don't know anything about it. Oh, Dev does. Or he thinks he does. He keeps a few bottles for special occasions. Mm. I think today is a special occasion. Mm. Well, it is your birthday. It is. Fancy helping me celebrate? Look, you can't keep calling me. I said I'd do it, and I will. Can I see you later? Uh, can we uh, discuss this Monday morning? Uh, yeah, great. Bye. Hey. Some people have zero respect for the weekend. <laughs> Tell me about it. You ready to go home? See, you're exactly the same. What? Ladies, I've been working out for five days. What a drink. So, we can open a bottle of wine, and we can watch a DVD on our new TV. Oh, you can take me to the pub. Well, it's too noisy in the pub. You, can, you can't talk. Besides, you went to the pub at lunchtime. <laughs> Why is it so damn hard for you to spend any time with me? That phone call will be up the wrong way, or what? Uh, yeah, yeah, a bit. OK. I'm sorry. Tell you what. Why don't I take you to the pub? I'll buy you a pint. You can sit in the booth and have a chat. Mm. Mm? Come on, I'm gasping. Slowly. <coughs> Is the hacker? <laughs> the postman had trouble delivering a letter. Is the hacker? <laughs> Late at night, I came across a little ferret. I didn't do anything. Are you doing a different one now? No. 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 <laughs> oh, I think we should call it a day. I'm not sure what time Roy said he might be back. He said he might be an all nighter, but there's plenty of cloud out there. What were you trying to say, Lop? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper. That's a really difficult one. Yes. I'm, uh, I'm just going to nip to the loo. All right, well, you go on then, and I'll <coughs> clear up. Hello? Roy? What is it? Brian, the, the, yeah, the, the little knob thing has dropped off the bolt and I can't open the door. The what? I can't open the door. Time for the loo. Ooh. All right, Roy. Ah, Zidane. Zidane. Uh, yes, that's right. Yes. I thought you were bat watching. Ah, oh, poor visibility is too cloudy, but. There is a talk tonight at the History Society on Victorian plumbing, so... <laughs> Sounds fascinating. Well, it... Did you see Brian? Brian? Yeah, he uh, said he needed to talk to you about something important. Did he say what it was? No, but I think I saw him going to the flat. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, yeah, he, he did say it was urgent. Well, I, I suppose if I hurry, I could get the 28 minutes past. Uh, well, thank you for passing on the message. I've worked with you. Yes. Thank you. You're a difficult man to find, you know that. What is wrong with you? What's wrong with me? I'll tell you what's wrong with me. Sit down. It's about time you and I had a little chat. I'm coming! All right! Hi. You all right? I'm good. I'm really good. I was, um... I'm gonna come round and see you, but I don't know. It's difficult to know what to say. That's okay. Are you on your own? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um. Are you drunk? Well, I might have had a little bit to drink, but you know what? It helps me to see things more clearly. And you are the best man I know. You're honest. You're a good person. You're a real man. Or at least you will be. Very, very soon. Uh, maybe, maybe you should lay down. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, but not on my own. I'm going to show you exactly how grateful I am. <laughs> no, Bethany. Please don't. Just sit there. Do you know how much this wine cost? No. Yes. Well, he's deaf. And he's probably the most pretentious man I know, so I'd say about 25 quid. More like 70. Shatter nerf to pap. 70 quid for a bottle of wine? Mm -hmm. Maybe we should put the cart back in. Nah, too late. It's my birthday present. Yeah, you're right. Cheers. Happy birthday. Mm. Mm. See? They've made the effort after all. I uh, know. I made the effort. Mm. It's nice. I'm not sure it's 70 quid nice, but it's nice. Mm. Five more bottles under the stairs. Mm. Steady on you. <laughs> yeah, well, I am drinking to forget. Who knows how much it'll take. No, that's not so bad. Is that all I deserve? Not so bad? Well, that's relationships, give and take. Compromise. Hmm. Well, maybe I'm greedy. But I want more. I'm sick of being taken for granted. It makes no effort whatsoever. I just want to have a bit of fun. I just want to be happy, that's all. Just happy. It's not too much to ask, is it? No, not too much. Put your wine down a minute. Why? You changed your mind. I don't want you to spill it. Coronation Street continues in half an hour. Did I do a bad thing? I think we both did. I'm sorry. I know, hey. We both have a soft time. We did some of that. It's not the worst crime in the world. Why do I always have to go and spoil everything? I'm sorry. We both got carried away. Deep down, you love Dev. I love Anna. This doesn't change that. No. I thought you'd learned your lesson and cleaned up your app, but no, you're just the same, aren't you? I don't know what Don't talk to me about. and listen. I'm sick of people like you messing with my family. The reason I don't get to see my granddaughter is because you got jealous and punched her dad. Now, I know what you're like. I used to be like you. And you know what? It took me years to change. You could and all. But I'm not seeing anything I like, so I'm not going to sit back and watch you wreck the lives of the people that I care about. I know what you were up to at lunchtime, condom wrapper in the kitchen bin. Schoolboy error. Yeah. She's 15! What you did was illegal! So I'm gonna give you a choice. We either go down the cop shop and let the law deal with this, or you end it with Faye. Do you understand? Now, go to the medicine cabinet and you'll find a small pair of scissors. Have you got them? Uh... Yeah, they are very small. Yeah, uh, designed for trimming a nose and ear hair. I'm a stickler for male grooming. I, I can't stand little tufts sticking out like little fairy bushes. Now, open the scissors up and use the blade to undo the screws on the bathroom door bolt. Uh, oh, 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 it's working. Yeah, the screw's turning. There you go. Like I said, crisis. What crisis? Roy! You want to see me? See that? It's that is important. What? what? What are you doing? Doing me? Yeah, it's not a difficult question. Do, do, do you need the bathroom? Oh, I, um... What was that? What was what? There's somebody in there. In where? In the bathroom. 
I thought you cared about me. I do care. But are you drunk? I'm not that drunk. Not so drunk that we can't... Look. I want to help. And I'll do anything I can, but I won't do that. So you're rejecting me? No. I'm your friend. And I always will be your friend. Can I have a hug? Why would you do something so stupid? Yeah, especially after what happened last time. Well, because we love each other. What, like you don't know what it's like to love someone? Oh, Faye, of course we know. Why do you think we're so worried about you? Do you know what? I wish I had somebody like your mother telling me what to do when I was your age, because I made a lot of big mistakes that I regret. Being a proper dad for one thing. Anyway, we've had a chat with Gary and we think it'd be better if you move back in here with me. What, so I get no say? Faye, I know you think you love him and it all seems real, but it's not, darling. It won't last. No, you're wrong. How do you know? Because look at us. We were young once. Are we still with the same person we first fell in love with? Well, oh, maybe that says more about you than it does me. Is that him? Answer it. Hiya. Yeah, um, I can't talk right now. It's not a good time. No, I mean it. What? No. Seb, why, why are you saying this? No, Seb, please. Everything OK? All I ever do is mess up. And it's everyone else that suffers. You, my mum, Mary. You just found yourself surrounded with some bad people. I attract them like a magnet. Whereas you, you... That's not true. You know, I find it hard too, knowing what to do. I feel like I let people down more often than I should. It's hard, Neil. Says I think too much. I should trust my instincts. Maybe I should talk to Neil about you. No, no. You need to know something. Know what? Neil's not the person that you think he is. Train. He. Look, I know he can be a bit full of himself at times, but he's just helping me see things more clearly. Uh, no, Craig, you... It's my mum. I should probably go. Wait, i me make you a coffee. Give you a chance to sober up. You have a girlfriend. There's no need to look so surprised. I am surprised because I didn't know when did this happen. Oh, well, we met online. I mean, I, I, I should have told you. She came round. Um, it's the first time we've met face to face, so to speak. I mean, we were getting on ever so well until, well, she got stuck. Stuck? In the bathroom. The little knob on the bolt dropped off. It has been a bit wobbly. Exactly. Right, best get her out. Ah, uh, no. No? That's uh, not a good idea. R really? Why not? But she's painfully shy. Shy. She's the archetypal shrinking violet. If she came out of there to a crowd of people, she could almost literally die of embarrassment. It's only the two of us. Yes, but to her, two is a crowd. I thought it was three a crowd. Of course it is, and she would make three. So perhaps it's best if you slipped away and I'll deal with the crisis here. Not that it's a crisis, just a tiny, solvable problem. Maybe we could meet in the pub later, say, half an hour. Are you sure she's all right? Ah, oh, she's fine. She hasn't said anything. Like I said, shy. She might have fainted. Fainted? With the stress of being locked in, it would be an understandable reaction. Oh, she's not fainted. You can't be sure. Maybe I'll call the fire brigade and an ambulance. OK, OK, I'll check she's OK. <clears throat> Hello? 
Oh, are you okay in there? Oh, oh. Right, there you go. She's fine. So if you toddle off back to the back cave. What's her name? Her name. Uh, Gwen. Gwen. Order. Hello, uh, Gwen. My name is Roy. A Roy Cropper. Now, there's no need to panic. I'm a trained first aider. There's absolutely nothing to worry about. Mum's so good with Bethany. And whatever she did, Shona's gone now, so it's ancient history. No way. Uh, she lied to me. Look, right now, I need my mum. Bethany needs a grant. So, either you grow up a bit, let him move back in, or we're gonna have to move out and all, and then you're gonna be on your own. Is that what you want? To be grander. Right? Yeah? You didn't message me, did you? What? Well, I, uh, I accidentally deleted some stuff on my phone. Uh, you haven't been trying to contact me? No. Okay. Things just a total nightmare. Gosh, poor Bethany. She's still just a child, isn't she? So, if there's anything I can do, just. And Jim, if you need any shifts, come around, just let me know. Yeah, thanks, I might. Well, at least she's got all her family around her, hasn't she? I'm gonna have to get off. See you later. See you. Was I as bad as this? You were okay. Look at you now. Look, I'm still not forgiving you for what you've done. In fact, I'm just as angry as I was when I first found out. But Maria's right. Bethany needs a family around her, so... I guess she can move back in. Well, if you're sure. No, I'm not. But I'm doing this for Bethany and for Sarah. Not for you. We're ready to go, yeah? Go where? Back to the flat. Back to the picking flat? That's all you've been saying all night. It's Friday night, babe. What's up with you? Nothing's wrong with me. I just want to spend some time with you and talk to you. Well, what do you want to talk about? You keep saying you want to talk, and you've not said two words all night. Look, no, please, just finish your drink and we can go. You are in such a weird mood. Hiya, Mum, you all right? Hang on. Mum, slow down a minute. I can't understand what you're saying. I think I went too far with Seb. No, I don't. Somebody had to. I think you did the right thing. Right, like... Well, maybe we could do something with her at the weekend, try and cheer her up a bit. Yeah. Right, let's get back. Come here. Come here. Thank you. Thank you. So, Tim scared Seb into leaving Faye. She's 15 years old. I have a legal responsibility for her welfare. Yeah, I know. It just seems such a long time ago since Rosie and Sophie was that age. I should have been more supportive, more understanding. I'm just... I'm just fed up, Kev, you know? I'm just fighting one battle after the other. I know. Anyway, you know, now we've got Faye back home and Seb's out of the picture, maybe things can get back to normal. <laughs> I'm going to have a bath, open a bottle of wine, I could do the drink. I'll wash your back. <laughs> I think we should break the door down. I can't let you do that. Think of the damage. Oh, it's a flimsy bolt. I'm sure it simply snap off. Yes, but I'm worried about Gwen. She could be hyperventilating. <laughs> Please, leave me to sort this out. I really like her. I don't want to jeopardise a new relationship by us bundling through the door like a pair of charging rhino. Are you sure? I promise I'll be fine. You go off to the pub, please. Right. If you're sure. Gwen, it's Roy again. I'm going now. Brian will help you. 
It was very nice to, to meet you. That's strange. What's strange? I hadn't noticed before that that's Kathy's coat. Yes. But not that strange, though. She must have left it last time she was here. Hello, Gwen. Hello, Roy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your mum needs you. Oh, she was so upset, babe. Gran's gone off to sell carpets in Morocco. So she's on her own in the middle of Dardine and a fella goes and blimmin' dumps her. Yeah, well, that's why I need to go and see her. I know, but flights aren't cheap. Uh, money doesn't matter. You sure you're all right? You've been in a right weird one all day. Yeah, yeah. Just work stuff, you know me. I always get a bit wound up. Listen, you go. Family comes first. I drive you to the airport. Um, right, I just need... My wash back. I am simply asking how two people who I would previously have described as friends could think that the best way to protect my feelings would be to sneak around behind my back and deceive me. No, no, listen, you're absolutely right. We were totally in the wrong. We should have told you, at least talked to you about it. I'll move out. There's no need. There's every need. I betrayed you and let you down as a friend. Why do you always assume you know how I feel? I'm a very empathetic person. No, you're not. You're a totally self-absorbed person. Well, that was a bit brutal. I have absolutely no problem with the two of you having any kind of relationship you wish. In fact, it will make me happy to think that you enjoy being together. Really? You're right, I am self-absorbed. I was thinking of myself, not you. I won't pretend that I'm not hurt by the deception. And I'm utterly bewildered why neither of you could find it within yourself to be honest with me, but this madness has to stop. Of course. Absolutely. And since it means so much to you, believe me when I say the two of you together have my blessing. That means everything. Thank you, Roy. You're a good friend. She could do with more like you. I best get going. I'll see you out. Never stop messing up, do I? Come on. Thanks for all your help. Let's get you up to bed. You can sleep yeah. it off. Bye. She needs our support. Yeah, and that's why you're here. I'm sorry about Shona. I just thought... Don't I... try and justify it, all right? I'll never forgive what you did. Not forget it either. Choice. He was going to report me to the police. My dad? Yeah. I thought he was going to thump me. I really thought that you meant. Hey. Look, he, uh, he, he made me promise I'd stay away. Look, I don't care about that. I'm not having them two hey, tell me. Look, you're 15. All right, this, this isn't the right time to pick a fight. They can't stop us from seeing each other. Oh, exactly. Not if we're clever. the best thing in my rubbish life. And I'm never going to give you up. No matter what anyone says or does. You're the best thing in my life, too. Right. So, keep your heads down. We see each other when we can. Our secret. Hello? Anybody in? Erica! Right now, come on, guys. Coast is clear. Come on. 
We're looking forward to Scotland. Yeah, all right, but honey, you know, some stuff is more important than golf. Now, this has got to be so good. Are the decorations, are she our party snacks? Sexist much? What's sexist? Why does he get the decorations and I get the food? Cool, we'll swap jobs. No problem. Right. Go ahead. Don't touch the snacks. Right, everybody concentrate, because this has got to be the best birthday party ever. It's not really a party. There's only four of us. <coughs> Just concentrate. <laughs> You're still paying us for this, right? It's unbelievable. What a shame this is. You know, most children, they'd be more than happy to help their father. All right, I'm paying you. Let's just kill me there. You're a good lad. I do my best. I want him to be more Craig and less Seb. Uh, you do OK. You know, I should be able to look after my family better. Protect him and try and keep him safe. You do look after him. I don't know what to do sometimes. I don't know how to help. But if something's not right, you've got to try and do something, haven't you? Because if you don't, who will? Bethany said a weird thing. What weird thing? She said, Neil isn't who I think he is, or wasn't who he says he is. I can't quite remember. Who's Neil? My sergeant. He's mentoring me. How drunk was she? Quite drunk. You couldn't tell her after she'd found out her mum had been dumped. I was going to. I believe you. Look, I know I've been putting pressure on you to tell her, but I'm not a monster. I do understand. Someone knows about us, and they want me to know that they know. Well, there's not a lot we can do about that, or Eva, until she gets back from France. In the meantime, at least me and you get a few days together, don't we? Yeah. But this isn't going to go away. I know it. Oh, I thought you were opening a bottle of wine. I didn't think you were serious. Oh, I don't know, you know. It's been tough for you, this, hasn't it, putting up with me? I'm just like you. I just wanted to get back to how we was. Yeah, me too. And, you know, with Faye back under our roof and a nice bottle of wine. Mm. I think there's one in the fridge. Well, you go and open it and I'll get this lot in the washer and then I'm all yours. <laughs> Yeah, love, what's this? Do you need this? What's this? She's coming. Shh, 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 shh. Shh, shh, shh. Happy birthday! Woo! Oh, wow! Happy birthday! Oh. You had a good day? Thank you. Yeah, brill. Wow. <laughs> oh. Honey, uh, you know it's late, but so we just wanted to show you how much we care, so. Oh. Yeah. Come here. Mm. <laughs> Hi, I've been busy. Mm. Can we eat now? I'm starving. You wouldn't let us have anything until you got here. <laughs> so what'd you say, birthday girl? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course you can. <laughs> I couldn't help noticing a couple of my very special bottles of wine seem to have disappeared. Well, it is my birthday. Of course it is. Cheers. Cheers. Marvellous thing, the internet. You can find the answer to all of your problems. I was trying to understand, that's yeah. all. Well, what is it to understand? I don't know. It's just Rana said some medications can have side effects and... Rana? You discussed this with Rana? I was worried about you. You're just worried about the fact that you're not getting any. Why is everybody so obsessed with sex? I'm not obsessed. Really? Then why are you searching the internet for antidepressants and the effect on the libido? Because you keep shoving me away. And that makes it all right for you, is it, to go and discuss our private life with other women? I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm not feeling very sexy. Oh, Anna. Maybe you just want to grip my teeth, eh? Lie back, think of England. Is that what you want? No. Mm. No! It's nothing to do with that. It's about constantly being rejected, being used as your personal punch bag, being shoved away time and time again. I see you hugging, Tim. You can't even bear to be close to me. I'm doing my best, Anna, but I'm not sure how much longer I can put up with all this.
hit US drama next year on ITV and there's a murder in the world of American football in Lethal Weapon. Identical twins, extraordinary decisions made on the street over on ITV3 next or on ITV2 next, life and love and lots more in the villa, brand new Love Island. Let's wait till she gets back. You were playing it still cool this weekend. Yeah, why nobody could see us. I hope you're not trying to wriggle out of it. No. Look, see this? From now on, no more lies. No more sneaking around. No more burner phones. <laughs> Just you and me now. How about your flat then at lunchtime? <sighs> you got it. the woman mm -hmm. what happened oh this that rewiring job yesterday wasn't watching where i was going bang right into a kitchen shelf have you had it seen too yeah be all right looks worse than it is you were late home and i was asleep when you got back yeah sorry about that love it went on a bit longer than i expected why are you putting on time for work ah now remember that maintenance contract i put in for a little while ago up cheesy millway can't say I do. <laughs> Your memory, love, honest to God. The one I didn't get. Well, the same bloke's just wrong. Asked me to tender for another job. Whereabouts? Uh, over the park there, you know, those apartments are just finishing. And you need a tie for that? Well, just something to give me that. I don't know, air of authority, you know. Nothing too flash. Otherwise, they'll think you're frightened to get your hands dirty. Well, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you in that case. Yeah, it's an outside chance, but, you know, nothing ventured. Are you sure that eye's all right? It looks nasty. It's fine, love. It's high straight. Mm. They all look lovely. Mm. <laughs> See you in a bit. No mucky thumbprints on them knife blades, I hope, Kate. Untouched by human hands. Oh, hi, Ken. Oh, hi, Michelle. Uh, what's Daniel about? Uh, he's just had to pop out. Oh, um, I just want to wish him luck for his degree result today. Ah, well, I can pass that on for you. Oh, thank you. That'd be lovely. Bye. Bye. You can come out now. Oh, thank you. I won't even ask. Very wise. Are you nervous? I'm terrified. Oh, come on, you'll be fine. Brain box like you. Uh, yep, OK, I'll get back to you soon. Cheers, Nick. What did he want? Oh, just, um, just chasing me up on the sale of his share in this place. Mm, he's pushy, isn't he? Wow. Well, he wants a quick sale or he'll go elsewhere. I can't blame him, really. Mm. Have you got the money? I'm working on it. I've got some premium bonds to cash in if you need an investor. Thanks, Kate. I'll bear that in mind. Um, <clears throat> listen, just a thought. Uh, I should be getting the money through from the sale of the Rovers soon. I could buy his share and we could run it together. Why be up to your eyes in debt? Uh, well, cos... cos I want it for myself. Well, we could be partners, couldn't we? That's the bit I never liked. <laughs> yeah, but... am I different? Yeah, yeah, you are. You're very different. It's... it's just that... I want to do this my way, that's all. Are you sure about this? No, but I can't afford to lose taking while the shop's having a refurb on it. 
And you're happy for Joe Public to traipse in and out the living room, treading the mucking everywhere? No, but honey, well, what choice have I got? And anyway, we're only selling the basics, right? Am I? Because I've got room for anything else. And you've locked the family silver away, I hope. Babes, don't worry. Because if thieves come here after valuables, I'll be in there and I will be helping them look. <laughs> You will hand that phone over now. Well, I've been the only girl in school without one. Well, you should have thought about that before then, shouldn't you? You've already grounded me. What do you expect? Well, you've grounded her. Look, maybe your mum's right. This is so unfair. Come on. Right, that's better. I'll see you later. Thanks. And you know about last week, I'm sorry for all them things that I said. I don't know about you, Kev, but I'm tired of fighting. Yeah, well, I never started it. So what's all the shouting about? Teenage hormones, number 13. Well, I've got all that to look forward to, right? Not today, though. But not today. All I've got to worry about is what I'm going to wear tonight. What do you mean? For the Weatherfield Traders' dinner. First, you forget my birthday. No, no, honey, no, please, it's this refurb. It's just completely taken me over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, God, what do I... Clever. Man of many parts. Busy morning. Do you really want to know? I'd like to take an interest. Okay, well, I had Mrs. Sandal in for a poem at half night. How did that go? <laughs> she was telling me all about her brand mm -hmm. And then I went to Deb's for a pint of milk. You little devil. Have you seen that he set the shop up in his living room while he's having a refit? No, but I heard. Yeah, it felt really weird. Can I uh, get you a drink or a bite to eat? What do you think? What's your shout? Wrong way to pass the time. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, where's mine? I like her sense of humour. She aren't looking better. Not your eye. How'd you get it? None of your business. You know, uh, you can't help me if you like. Do you never hear of the division of labour? What, is that where one guy does all the work and the other one stands and watches? If you want to chance your arm in the big bad world outside them gates, then be my guest. Well, uh, you've not forgotten uh, Nicholas calling by today, have you? It's a daisy. Isn't that why you're wearing a tie? Very lippy today, so... Wouldn't fancy your chances with a shiner like that. Us been catch you at him, belt you did. Very lippy today. And you're skating on very, very thin ice. Good morning. Morning. Everything all right? Couldn't be better. Eh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I get there. She's in floods of tears, standard. Eight's Ted's guts, never gonna have him back. And I think we're up till about three o'clock in the morning. Next day, comes round, back together. Oh, typical. So I was like, fine, it's all right. You know, now that I'm here, we can have a bit of a catch up. She only had eyes for him. Oh, great. And she said stay, but after a day of that, I felt like a bit of a gooseberry. She came home. Oh, dear. It's fine. Missing Aiden anyway, to be honest. I was acting so weird before I went. Well, no wonder he was stressed out. That's yeah, not the only reason. Why, Wells? I'm late. How late? Three days, but I am, I am like clockwork. Well, have you done a test? No. <laughs> what don't you think you should? <laughs> this is his work diary. I make sure he fills it in every day. And if he doesn't? Grab him by the scruff of the neck and threaten him. I apologise for what you just saw. He, you know, he was giving me lip all day. It was just a bit Is that of... Is you uh... got the eye? No. I'm really hoping I haven't got you wrong. It was a one-off. How did you get the eye? OK, if you must know, I was breaking up a fight at a bus stop. I mean, this is what you get when you try and help people, right? Help him one minute, violent the next. Quite the Jekyll and Hyde, aren't you? It's not how I normally am. Boys like Seb need patient handling. Part of the problem is the rejection they've had in life. So they test people out, see how far they can go. They're expecting rejection and they very often get it. Look, if you're not up to this, 
You should say, and I'll find an alternative placement. I promise you that will never happen again. Okay. Have you got any plans for him this afternoon? Uh, nothing definite. There's an event in Liverpool I'd like him to attend. A talk by a former young offender who's turned his life around. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Seb will listen more to people like that than to people like me, so... Yeah, I can see that. So I'll come back and pick him up around three. Yeah, I actually wouldn't mind going along too. I mean, any insights I can get into what makes him tick at all helps, eh? Unless you don't, you know, you don't want me there. No. That'll no, be fine. Now, do you want some food? Yeah, go on then. <laughs> Before I have to make a quick getaway without being seen. Not for much longer. Who's that? Thank you. Now. <sighs> hey. Hi. What are you doing here? Did you not get my text? No. Ah, well, surprise, surprise. <laughs> 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 Seen what happened? Oh. The flaming patched it up soon after I got there, so I thought, oh, it's pointless, might as well come home. <gasps> Hello! Hello, boozy boo! I missed you. Yes, I did. Have it been good? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what are you doing home in the middle of the day in the middle day? Oh, I spilled something on me at work, so I just nipped back to get a change of clothes. Mm. Mm. Right, I'm gonna go for a lie down. The right bumpy flight, you know, I feel a bit queasy. You don't wanna do that. Why not? Well, it's the worst thing you can do. You know, like when you've had a skin full, the room will spin. You'll end up phone up everywhere. Oh, do you reckon? Mm. You need a uh, breath of air. And some of that um, mint tea that they do at the calf. You know, that the Yasmin's always on about. Mm, babe, I've just come from there. Well, it'll settle your tummy. Look, you go and I'll meet you there in five minutes. Yeah, do you know what? You might be right. Okay, I'll just throw my case in the bedroom. Uh, I'll do that. You are being very chivalrous today. I just want you to relax. Okay, thank okay. you. See you in a minute. See ya. Oh, I thought she was going to come in and find me then. I nearly died. I hate this line. Yeah, well, it won't be long, will it? And then you can put her right here. And all this can stop. what I was saying earlier, didn't you, about investing here? Uh, yeah. I got you perfectly. OK, so don't you think you should at least consider it? I have. No, you haven't. You just rejected it out of hand. Because it's not what I want. But aren't we supposed to be equals? Well, yeah, on a personal level, sure, but a, a business is, is much more than just that. The place me and Johnny ran together was a disaster. Well, that doesn't mean this would be. No, I know, but it's a risk I'm not prepared to take, and I'm surprised you are after what happened with Steve. Well, we never had any problems with the business. Well, until things went wrong with the marriage and all hell broke loose. So that's it, then, is it? End of discussion. I'm doing this to protect us, Michelle. Now, I'm sorry, but I've got a kitchen to run. Did you hear that? Steve will be ready to roll over by now. He's not Steve, though, is he? And he has got a point. Yeah, so have I. Oh, babe, it was a complete waste of time, not to mention a complete waste of your money. Don't worry about it. Is there something wrong? No. Are you sure? You seem a bit edgy. You were like this before I went. No, it's uh, still a lot to take in, that's all. You being back. Surprised you didn't ring. Babe, honestly, it happened so quick. I was on the plane before I knew it. Mm. Why it's not put you out, is it? Why would it do that? Anyway, back with the love of my life now, aren't I? That's all that matters. I can't remember the last time Sally talked to me like that. No, I can certainly churn the birds out of trees, guy. I'll see you helping. Not really, no. Well, maybe you should go back and have a lie down. 
Make your mind up. You've literally just told me that that's the worst thing I could do. <sighs> what do I know? Do you know what? I might just go to the chemist, actually. I'll go if you like. No, it's all right. I've got some other bits and bobs to get, so... Like what? Like, um, girly things. None of your business. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Can't marry babysit. Not available. Can you find someone else? Too short notice. Man, I couldn't have played this any worse. All on top of forgetting her birthday last week. Do you have to go? I might be going to look bad if I don't, isn't it? Me trying to get on the committee. Oh, if you're desperate, I can do it. I'm talking about you could do it. Oh, why not? And I can look after Jack. Get out of what you're serious. If it'll put you back together, yeah. Mate, that saved my life. Well, let's do it. Y uh, yes, I will not forget this. My pleasure. Hi, Ken. Hiya. How's things with Faye and Anna? Oh, don't ask. You know, Tim had a go at Sam. Yeah. yeah. Well, I hope he didn't go too far. No, well, we've got to be careful. Remember what happened to me after I walloped John Stape? That's exactly. This is all very pop-up dev. <laughs> all the rage amongst the hipsters in the Northern Quarter. Oh. Wrong side of 40, I'm still reinventing myself. <laughs> Plus 10 more, like. Hey, let him dream. And I'm only 24. You enjoy your dinner? I assume it will love a boy you were off to see, all dressed up. What's it to you? Has he been giving you more excuses as to why he can't dump her? Well, he is going to, actually. He's even thrown away his second phone to prove it. Oh, well, he must be serious. You'll see. So what, things are bad between them, then? <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's not how it looked in the cafe before. Looked all cosy cosy. Yeah, well, she got home and wasn't feeling very well, so he had to be nice to her. <laughs> There's always an excuse, isn't there? There is this time, yeah. Look, he's never going to leave her. He's just stringing you along like any bloke would. The sooner you realise that, the better. What? You and Sam. What, you think I shouldn't have marked his car? No. Then what? It's just degrees, that's all. There's marking somebody's car and then there's threatening them with violence. Yeah, but he has to see that I'm serious, doesn't he? Oh, Tim, these things can escalate. I mean, you're already under caution as it is. You're going to land yourself in trouble if you're not careful. Hey, hey, have you seen this? Nothing to do with me. Uh, do you know how much waste each person generates in this country every year? Three quarters of a ton. Population over 64 million. You can do the math yourself. That's terrible. Millions of tons get put in landfill rather than being recycled. I'm actually in a bit of a rush, Brian. They're waiting for this change. I saw someone chuck away a phone this morning on the street, casual as you like. Do you know how many then get dumped across the planet every year? In fact, there's his other half. I wonder if she knows. Hello. Oh, told Dave when I was going to the chemist, you only have to go farming. No! <laughs> what did you do? My face! Oh, <laughs> so, uh, this guy from Liverpool, what exactly do you do? Well, I'll leave him to explain all that. Good to see they're paying you so well. Or is this from a special and very lucky young man? Yeah, in your dreams. Get in. because of all the stress of travelling, going to France and then coming straight back. It does funny things to your body. Yeah. Did you not have a gut feeling, though, you know, before you took the test? <sighs> no, I didn't have a clue. Went to doctors with someone else, then it all came out. Why is that how you feel? <laughs> Look, you'll probably be fine. It's probably just some bug you've picked up on the blade. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. All that recycled air. Yeah. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Come on, then. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So come on then, why were you avoiding your dad before? He said that you wouldn't ask. Yeah, well, a woman likes to change her mind, doesn't she? You know, it's just parents, isn't it? Yeah, uh, well, I didn't even sit my GCSEs, so I can't even imagine what you must be going through. No. Nope. I had a baby instead, didn't I? Well, look at you now, running a bistro. 
Yeah, loads of people start off badly before they make it. I read Steven Spielberg couldn't get into film school. Mm. And they told Disney that he had no imagination. Hey, and didn't J.K. Rowling keep getting turned down in the beginning? Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> Let's hope that I fail. <laughs> uh, OK, gang, listen up a sec. Ooh, what's this? I just wanted to let you all know that I am planning on buying Nick's share in this place. So there may be a few changes down the line. We're not going to lose our jobs. Well, that depends on you, Daniel. You play your cards right, you don't upset me. Uh, calm down, I'm joking. Um, I'll, I'll keep you all posted. Can I go on my break now? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Will? What are you doing here? <sighs> well, I might ask you the same question. Well, I'm due to meet a client. I made a point of swerving the pub, so I didn't run into you. Uh, well, I, I don't work there anymore. I uh, know. No, uh, me and Steve split up. Well, OK. Mm -hmm. I, I'm working here now. Anyway, I'm just off of my break, Look, so... I, I'm really sorry about how things worked out last time. I was in a bad place. Said lots of things I shouldn't. Do you know what? Forget it. Water under the bridge and all that. <laughs> Well, it's, uh, it's nice to see you again. Yeah, and you. Oh, sorry. Oh, great. Being cancelled. Hmm. Always the way. Uh, listen, you don't want some company, do you? Be good to know what I've been up to. Uh, well... You, me, Rana... Yeah, why not? Any luck? Give me a minute. Oh, come on, we're getting bored out here, aren't we? All right, put the telly on. Oh, oh flipping heck, how many remote controls do you need? Which one is it? That one? Ah, there we go. There we go. Ooh. Oh, don't, I'm getting nervous now. <laughs> What's that? Oh, it's Aidan, he connects the telly up to his tablet. Oh. He? Yes, he does. <clears throat> Close call, mm -hmm. what's she on about? I don't know. <sighs> Sleeping with Aiden. That's what. Coronation Street continues in half an hour. Aiden and Maria. <gasps> he loves her. <laughs> he loves her. I'm going to kill him. <gasps> he had her in. <sighs> he had her here. In our house. <laughs> In our bed. I knew. I knew there was something weird. But I didn't think. <laughs> no wonder he didn't propose. The pair of them must have been laughing their heads off at me. Poor stupid Eva got it wrong again. No, you're not stupid. They've hid this really well. They've lied to me. They've lied to my face over and over again. This is why it was acting weird before I went to France. He was being really off with me. All makes sense now. How could they do this to me? How could they do this? Because they're both a pair of 
scumbags, that's why. She was my best mate. She was my bridesmaid. A lying bitch. Where are you going? Where do you think? You know, when I was with Steve, I was in charge of everything, you know, all the everyday stuff. I'd make all the decisions and he'd just tag along for the journey. It can be a bit frustrating, that. Take it this new bloke's not like Steve, then? Mm. No, they couldn't be any more different. Robert's always honest with me. Ah, it's not much fun being the rebound guy, though, is it? This Robert must really like you. I'm not on the rebound. Has your divorce even come through yet? <laughs> That's none of your business. Oh, no, oh, don't go. Sorry, don't go. But truthfully, I'm jealous. Of course I am. When you came back into my life, you were with Steve and... I thought then what a loser he was. Well, you were right about that. But you chose him, didn't you? Well, now you're with this new guy who you seem really into. I am. I missed out, but hey, that's life. I'm pleased you're happy. Thanks. I'm pleased I'm happy too. <laughs> He's a lucky bloke, your uh, Robert. Oh, I'm a very lucky woman. Maria. Can I have tea and tea instead? He always has a well good time with you and Aiden. Me and Beth are defo second best. What's your secret? She's really fun. Are you coming to my birthday party? Hey, yeah. Hey, it won't be long until you and Aiden have kids, will it? All right. I've got to go. Oi, put that down. It's not for sale. All right, sorry. Have a nice day. Dad, how long's this lot gonna be here? Why don't you, my gorgeous tulip, go grab a share and put your glad rags on because I am taking you for champagne. Well, Carver. Oh. Yeah, I found the babysitter. Hmm? Yes. Hmm. Kevin will be keeping an eye on you. Kevin? Hmm. Why him? He's a nice bloke, isn't he? Yes. Said he was more than happy to help. Huh? You know what? People just don't take the time anymore. Always rushing, missing the beauty all around. Like a clean street, for example. Something your fiance doesn't appreciate. What? Tell Aiden. Littering is an offence. Not Aiden. Well, there's no point in lying for him. I saw him smashing it up. I'll let him off with a warning this time, but. Thank you. Hey, baby. Are you okay? Someone said something. Oh, I am. Um, I broke the new telly. Baby, don't cry. <laughs> it's just the TV. What's the wine for? Uh, well, I was hoping that peppermint tea might have done the trick. I thought we could have a drink later. <sighs> <sighs> what did I do to deserve you, eh? Um, Brian asked me to give you this. I said it was yours. <sighs> Not mine. Yeah, I said that, but he was, um, he was pretty insistent. Oh, that's a bit of a weirdo, Brian. On another planet most of the time, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, should you not be back at work? Yeah. I'll see you later tonight, yeah? So this guy used to be a gangster. I mean, like, he might just totally kick off from Rock Away. <laughs> He's reformed. And I never said gangster. We're not in a Scorsese film, you know. You coming? Patrick? Yeah. Coming in for the tour? Yeah, that's what we came for, innit? Bring back memories, is it? Being home? 
It's not home for me anymore. Come on, Seb, let's go. You had a second phone. This has been going on for ages. What did you say, Maria? Did you lamp one? No. No? What have you been doing? Nothing. Nothing? Well, I should have ripped a skanky hair so out. why didn't you Because then? I couldn't. Liam was there. I'm not going to touch her in front of a son, am I? <sighs> no, no, I suppose not. Well, Tyro said she was a right sneaky little cow. Go on, nice one. Thanks for the heads up, Lee. Sorry. I need to check this test. Uh, I've done it. I didn't know what to do. And? <sighs> You're in the clue. It's negative. I thought that line meant positive. What? No, that, that wasn't there before. Well, it's here now, so what does it mean? I don't know. Maybe, maybe I checked it too soon, or maybe I didn't wait. I don't know. So we don't know? Well, yeah, it seems that way. It's fine, I'll get another one. Listen, uh, Oliver's got a, uh, an appointment in five minutes. I, I, could, I could cancel it. No, I... don't cancel. I'm fine. It's fine. No, you're not fine. No, not. I might be pregnant to a guy that's been cheating on me for months. A guy that's making a complete fool out of me. So, no, I'm not finally. I'm not. Come here. <laughs> Bit tough, that, weren't it? Talking about prison and his family in there. Yeah, poor blue. A good lad, isn't he? Hides it well sometimes, but just taking a few wrong turns, aren't he? Yeah, no, it does like. I thought you might. I met the love of my life round here. She <laughs> was gorgeous. Real classy girl, you know. You remind me of her. She broke my heart, that one. <laughs> I've never been one for crying, but I sobbed my heart out over it. I can just hear my dad now, you know, man up. <laughs> he used to say to me, real men don't cry. So I never did. Not until her. What a load of rubbish. I love a man who's in touch with his sensitive side. Do you? I was a bit full on, wasn't it? Hey? That guy in there, confessing his sins and that. Hey, that must be what it's like to be your Billy. Something to think about, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah. No, no, I, I do get it, you know what I mean? I mean, if I carry on down this, um, this self-destructive path, I'm gonna be a very sorry young man. Hey! Nicholas trying to help you. Show a bit of respect. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Nick. You will be. Right. Let's get going, shall we? Hey, we're okay for time, aren't we? Yeah. Huh? I'm gonna show you something. be a big ballroom, a big, beautiful ballroom. In fact, my dad took me mum here on their first date. <laughs> That's dead romantic. Probably the only time he was. Burnt down during the riots. I mean, I stood right there and watched it. Hey, look, if we're going to have a history lesson, uh, I'm going to go get a buddy. Right. At my house, Nick was just down there. Oh, listen to that. Toots and the Maytels. <laughs> I used to love them. You know them? Yeah, I think so. I think my mum had a few of their albums. Yeah, I had one, just one. Saved up for it out of some crummy job I had at the time. I loved that album, loved it. I got home one night, found it on my bed, snapped in two. And then my dad said, 
sick to death of that record. That's awful. He used to like to do things like that. Anyway, I swung for him. Mm. Funny a skinny lad then, not like I am now. I ended up leaving Liverpool with another black eye and a broken rib. Yeah. I escaped Liverpool the night the Rialto burnt down. You must have only been... Yeah, I was old enough. Nothing for me to stay for, you know? So, I went as far as a fiver and a smile would take me, which turned out to be Reading. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do in Reading? Did all sorts, you know, but I was a bit of a blagger, you know? But I ended up working, you know, for a building firm. First job, guess where? Liverpool. No. Yeah, really. <laughs> it's like the city was calling me back, you know, unfinished business. Yeah, I'd left the city like a war zone, and now I was back, helping to rebuild it. Did you see your dad when you got back? No. Never saw him again. He died a couple of years later. Sorry. Yeah. Don't be, I'm not. Are you, uh, are you going back there or what? Yeah, sure, yeah. Do you know what? Since we're here, why don't we go and see the sights? Mm. We have a very good guide. OK, then. <laughs> oh, hey, how'd you get on? Two, two. Well, that's, that's a pass, isn't it? Well, not as far as Oxford are concerned. And my dad, he's not going to be very impressed. As if I haven't disappointed him enough. Oh, cut yourself some slack, mate. Hey, why don't you let him have the rest of the day off? Uh, no, we, um, we need him here, really. Why? We're quiet. We'll manage. You just want to keep an eye on me, don't you? Actually, do you know what? You're all right. I'd rather keep busy anyway. Why would he think that you want to keep an eye on him? Ah, uh, no idea. He's so hard on himself, that one. Oh. Well, not that I'm complaining, but what was that for? Just for being you. So, you're all right about what I said about this place? Yeah, you're right, aren't you? This place is yours. We don't need to own it together. You and me are great as we are. Hmm. All you've done today is eat. Well, I'm a growing lad, aren't I? <laughs> okay, should we, uh, should we go on the boat? Like in the song? Ferry across the Mersey? Mm, yeah. Shall we? Yeah. Are you scared? Oh, yeah. Terrified. Oh, she's got a fancy. I bet he gets seasick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet he does. <laughs> so, come on. I told you about my sad life. You were born round here, weren't you? Oh, my mum and dad are from round here, but they moved just before I was born. Why? Why what? Why did they move? Um, for my dad's job, I think. Oh. What did he do, your dad? <laughs> he was a builder, actually. Same as you. You know, one of the great things about being a builder is you can pretty much do it anywhere. No need for him to leave Liverpool. Could have stayed. No need to uproot you and mum, is there? We'd better get going, hadn't we? Yeah. Mr. Traffic. Look, mate, you can always try again, you know. Another degree, another time. Oh, it's fine. Hey, at least I'm a good waiter, eh? I told you not to come back here. You greet all your customers like that. So, what am I going to do with my life now, then, eh? I don't know, darling, but you know what? I'm sure you'll figure it out. Oh, girl. <laughs> I'll come back at a more convenient time, shall I? Mate. See, there you go. You're now. Yeah. Yeah. You're probably right, eh? Plenty more Oxfords in the sea. <laughs> Thanks. 
What's that about? I don't know. Are you biting? No, of course I'm not. I was worried you were. As if. I told you, I'm stupid enough to try that one. Again. Oh, good. So what did he want? Uh, I don't know. He can't seem to stay away. Just think about what that bloke said today, yeah? I will do. Uh, thanks for coming. Look, I'll be honest. After this morning, I wasn't too keen on spending the day with you. Oh, right. But you've surprised me. Been more Jekyll than Hyde today. I'm never sure which one's which, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Jekyll's a good one. Okay. I've seen another side to you. I think you're good for him. Strong male role model and all that. Yeah, well. I've been called a lot of things in my time. A role model, that's a new one. <laughs> right, well, my beans on toast aren't going to cook themselves, so... OK, good to see you. Mm, you hate to see her go, but you love to watch her leave, don't you? Don't you start all that again. Hey, you live that way. Not a crime for a man to go for a stroll, is it? Oh, pocket handkerchief. You know what? A pepper pocket handkerchief, boy, especially. We won't be back late. Ah, be as long as you want. To be honest, Anna goes to bed early. I'd only be sat in the house on my own. You look great, by the way. Thanks. <laughs> Found it then? Nah, I can't find a purple one anyway. Can't find anything in there, but um look okay. Defo, mate, defo. Cool. Excuse me. And uh thanks. For looking after the kids. You home late? Yeah, but I come bearing chips. Mm -hmm. Where are the boys? Bob. So, you're right. How, how did you do it again? I told you, love. That rewiring job. No clumsy I can be. Yeah. You want to be more careful. Tried calling you before. Yeah, I know, love. I'm sorry. I haven't had a minute. Have you got the contract, then? Unfortunately not. A bunch of jokers, really. Mm. A complete waste of time. Yeah, not a complete waste of time. Might be something good on the horizon. Yeah? Yeah. What's that, then? Well, you know, I don't like to jinx it, love. Let's just say, things are looking up. I'm so sorry. I told you before, it doesn't matter. What happened, though? I just, um... I just knocked it over when I was vacuuming. <sighs> With some force, it looks like. Yeah, I don't know my own strength, me, do I? Yeah. We need to have a chat. Do we? Yeah. Um, just a minute. Is it? Open it. <laughs> um, the blue line means it's positive. I'm gonna have a baby. Are you sure? Well, it's the second time. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Aiden. Yeah. This is good news, right? It's great news. <laughs> it's great news.
And because of the Confederations Cup, Coronation Street continues with a double bill Friday at 7.30 and 8.30. Next tonight is time running out to prove Kevin's innocence. The cover-up begins to unravel next here on ITV in new drama Fearless.